Hello friends, my name is Purva Sharma, Assistant Professor of Physics at Biani Girls College, Jaipur. Today, I am going to discuss on the topic beta decay. First of all, uh, we should know that what is beta decay. In beta decay, the uh, nucleus undergo a transition by the emission of either beta minus particles that is electron or beta plus particles that is positron or electron capture. We will discuss all the three cases one by one. So, for First, let us consider the first case that is beta minus particle decay or we can say electron emission. The emission of the beta uh, minus particles from the nucleus is represented by the following reaction. In this reaction, in this process, the new element form, uh, the new element, the atomic number of the new element increases by the 1 and mass number remains same. As we can see in the equation that uh, the parent nucleus was having atomic number as Z and mass number as capital A and the new element formed is having atomic number increased by 1 and mass number remains same. That means these two elements are isobars. Why isobars? Because isobars are those elements which, ha which are having same, same mass number but different atomic number. So, in beta minus particle decay, the two elements will be the isobars and the electron or we can say the beta minus particle is emitted from the nucleus. In beta decay, the neutron decays into proton and electron inside the nucleus and uh, uh, electron gets emitted from the nucleus. As we can see from this reaction that uh, in beta, min beta minus decay, neutron decays into proton and electron is emitted from the nucleus. Now, second case is beta plus decay, beta plus particle decay or we can say positron emission. Now, in beta plus particle decay, the nuclear, uh, the emission of the beta plus particle decay is represented by the following reaction. As we can see, this is the parent nucleus. When the beta plus particle uh, is emitted from this parent nucleus, the new element formed has atomic number decreased by 1 and mass number remains the same and beta plus that is positron is emitted from the nucleus. Now, in this case also the atomic number are different and mass number are same. So, these two elements are also isobars. Now, as we can see that the uh, atomic number of the new element form decreases by 1. So, we can say that the new element formed will be having position shift towards uh, shift uh, will shift backward in the periodic table by 1 and in this case we can see that the atomic number increases by 1. So, the new element formed will have the position 1 forward in the periodic table. Now, in beta plus decay proton decays into neutron and positron inside the nucleus and positron gets emitted that is uh, the proton when uh, proton decays into neutron and positron decays into neutron and pro positron inside the nucleus and positron gets emitted out. Now, the third one is electron capture. Now, elect in electron capture, the electron is captured from the orbital electrons of the atom that is the uh, nucleus gains uh, snatch one electron from the orbital electrons of the atom and the new element form will be having atomic number decreased by 1. That is the new element formed will have one position backward in the periodic table. Since in this reaction also we can see that the atomic number is different in both the cases in both the elements and mass number is same. So, these two elements are also isobars. In electron capture, proton is converted into neutron by snatching an electron. Now, the fourth one is beta energy spectrum. In beta energy spectrum, a graph is plotted between the energy of the beta particles along the x axis and second number of beta particles along the y axis. As we can see from the graph that energy spectrum is continuous. Uh, the energy spectrum of beta uh, particle is continuous that means that all uh, beta particles of all energies can be emitted from the nucleus. Now, the second is in spectrum of beta particles, there is maximum value of energy. We can see from this graph that uh, there is a maximum value of energy 
represented by this point, this maximum value of energy is known as end point energy. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to share, like and subscribe on our YouTube channel.